Good morning, sweet friends. Welcome to Gardening with Creekside. I am Jenny, and today is a very fun and exciting, very busy day here at Creekside because they are going to be pouring the concrete for the new greenhouse pad. So it is, um, the sun's not really up above the trees yet. It is probably 740-ish in the morning. The concrete truck, the first one, is supposed to arrive right around eight o'clock. Um, so it's very exciting. It's also great knowing that none of the pressure is on us. <laughs> we just simply get to sit back and observe and watch the process. So that's what this video is gonna be about. Just showing you the whole process of what the guys have already done with the greenhouse to get it prepped and then getting the concrete poured and completed. So here at Creekside. So we're walking over to the greenhouse. All the guys are here. They're ready, waiting on the concrete trucks. Can't remember if I said this, I do have my other cup of coffee because I've only had one this morning. Um, there's going to be a total of four trucks and they're going to be spaced about 15 minutes apart. So that way they can get it poured and brushed and all the things that they need to do. So let's come over here and see what they did yesterday. As you can see, it is quite a busy place this morning. Um, and it is a Friday, so we are gonna be open today. So if you happen to be a customer today, you get to see a fun show. Okay, so here we are in the greenhouse. What they spent all day yesterday was getting the entire grade of the floor completely level and even. Um, they knew exactly what the grade was gonna be. And so, um, I don't know if you can see here on each of the posts, if you can see nothing right, see that mark right there on each post all the way around the greenhouse, they have that mark, and that is where the finish line of the concrete will be. So they <clears throat> did an amazing job using a bobcat, almost exactly like Jerry's small one, and got the grade just perfectly level. It looks amazing in here, um, even with no concrete. And then the fellas here are putting some plastic. Um, sheeting up around the edge of the greenhouse. So we'll do it on all the sides so that way when they're pouring concrete they don't have to worry about any of it splattering on the walls which of course we greatly appreciate. And then of course trying to do this nice and slow back here you can see where they have framed out for the little building so we can go look at that. Interestingly enough the entire greenhouse will act as the form for the concrete. The only places that they need to add a, to add rather um, some framing was right there in front of the doors. If you can see there is wood right there. That way obviously the concrete won't flow out the front door. But the greenhouse itself is going to act as the form. And ha ha ha! Look who is here right on time my friends. The first concrete truck so this is gonna be so exciting they will be using um, these I believe they have two of them these little machines that of course have these nice big huge buckets on them so they'll fill those up with the concrete from the concrete truck and then they will um, shimmy them in to the greenhouse so at this point my job is to capture what they're doing <laughs> but stay out of the way.
over here, the guys are making sure that it's to grade and it's level. So they've got the pink string and they've all got their same tools and it's on top. So it's gotta be, everybody's gotta be touching the exact way. guys are leveling the concrete they'll find holes or they'll find high spots so it's just a constant back and forth of moving the concrete around to make sure that it's all the right level the right slope this is absolutely amazing to watch them work this is such an art and a science all at the exact same time teamwork at its finest so cool to watch and I'm so grateful that we're not the ones responsible for doing this. These guys are amazing. friends the guys are basically halfway through with the project they have had two concrete trucks come and this half of the greenhouse is done it has been poured it has been leveled they have um, taken the little floater to get it nice and smooth uh, and it looks fantastic these guys are so much fun to watch because they are definitely artists and masters of doing this and it is amazing um, plus they're they're pretty funny but concrete is in like I said you can see here that they have put the form down for the front um, door here obviously if you don't put that there the concrete just kind of flows out so once the concrete hardens and cures then we can take that up and then backfill it with gravel so it'll just be a nice smooth edge as the guys are um, running the board to get it level there will be you know low spots and high spots so they're having to constantly work that concrete back and forth to get it nice and level let's come over on this way and get a little different perspective on it um, and we've talked about it before um, in the beginning of the video how the greenhouse itself was going to be the form for the side and you can see right here that the hat base is acting as the form so they've come straight up to and level with the hat base all the way down um, and then they're using that nice long two by four to act as their level to move that concrete and to get it just how they want it. Of course, they'll come back and fine tune everything. Um, so right now we're waiting on another concrete truck. There's supposed to be two more that come that will finish in. Oh, Jerry just said, hey babe. Speaking of the devil, look what's coming down the road right here. So 
Here we have truck number three is here. Uh, so this truck plus another truck will finish up inside the greenhouse and then for the pad for the little utility building. So let's come on over here. Um, it is just so much fun to watch these guys work. Uh, yeah, they're awesome. The concrete is poured, it has been brushed, they have done everything to it. So essentially it is done. The only thing that they have left to do is in about an hour they're going to take a saw and go ahead and cut some lines in it so that way it helps relieve a little bit of stress in case with the fluctuation of temperatures so that the concrete does not crack. But we are so excited about this. It looks amazing. It was really fascinating just to watch them do the whole entire process. They are definitely artists at this and do an amazing job. So just to kind of recap just a little bit, of course, we saw lots of footage when they were pouring it and moving it and getting it level. Um, so this whole pad is completely level. It is four inches thick. 
Once they got it level, then of course they took that big floater to smooth out the big rough spots, right? Once they got the whole greenhouse poured and did that to it, waited just a little bit till they were able to walk on it, and then they took the machine that really, um, well, they said it woke the concrete up and to bring, so they're trying to bring the um, water to the surface, the big stones down a little bit so that way they can come back and they use their um, trowels over um, I think they did it like twice to get this nice smooth finish on it and then the last step was to take this massive broom and just brush it so that gives it kind of that um, it's obviously very smooth but it has a, just that brushed look to it and it is gorgeous and then of course over here because if you've ever been involved in pouring concrete at your house or something along those lines they let us put our initials and handprints and all of that fun stuff in it so right here we have a penny that is from 2021 and then we have um, Jackson's hand, Megan's hand, Jerry's hand, and then the date. Emily is taking her final exam at um, today, and then um, it just looked good with three, so I just left three there. And yeah, so this will be right here when you walk in, you will see it, and it will forever be there. But it just looks fantastic. Let's walk around to the back and show you the pad on the back and then of course they came through because you know my OCD-ness look how nice and clean the hat base is so they came through and cleaned up any spills off of the hat base so it is just but look at that it is the perfect level I mean straight up to the edge of the hat base these guys just did an absolutely phenomenal job doing everything it just looks amazing <laughs> this greenhouse is not going to go anywhere for a long time and then of course back here is the um, pad for the utility room basically utility storage room um, remember these two are water lines that we will use for the fertigation and the clear water and then of course this is the electrical so um, wherever the concrete pad is that will be the space for the little building the room and then this will be like the electrical panel for the whole entire greenhouse um, so we'll have plenty of room in here to keep like extra fertilizer um, any kind of like supplies that way inside the greenhouse it's nice and clean and we can just have retail space and not have to worry about having any of our tools or fertilizers that kind of thing in this space the door opens and closes quite nicely they did an excellent job when they were pouring it they were opening and closing the door making sure because the last thing you want is to pour concrete and then you can't open the door um, so jerry will come back through with the bobcat once everybody's done um, smooth all of this out get it nice and smooth again where you see the orange cones coming down straight down that was where jerry had to basically cut the irrigation lines right there because those were in the middle of a table so it's just like this it's pvc that we painted black um, and then these are the sprinkler heads so when we have plants out here that we need to be watering these little rotate and it acts like you know rain that's falling down on the plants in order to get the propane tanks back here they had to cut those so the orange cones are where these guys will have to go back and just to keep you know dirt soil all that kind of stuff out of it um, but yeah so basically um, in an hour you could walk on it we're not going to um, and then in five to seven days we can put heavy equipment on it if Jerry wants to go ahead and start working on the electrical he could bring the Bobcat in here as far as like to lift him up and do those sorts of things but that's the next step is electrical and plumbing once that's done um, or in conjunction with that then we can start bringing tables back in and getting it set up to however that it is that we want it um, 
So it's just such an exciting time. It's just, we have had the most fun watching these guys today. They have been absolutely spectacular and fabulous. Um, a lot of fun to be around. They clearly enjoy what they do and they are very, very, very good at it. Um, so as always, thank you so much for gardening with Creekside. Y'all have a fantastic day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye friends.